What is the aura of a person? How can he see and perceive it? What is true and what is often misunderstood about the aura? In this video, you will learn what exactly the aura is, what levels or layers there are in the aura, what the aura shows and reveals, how it is perceived and how it is interpreted. Stay tuned! Brotherhood of the Eternal Light Teaching the Western Mysteries Aura Perception – What you need to know about the four layers of the aura The Etheric Plane – Part 3 Let us start with the term aura. The word aura means radiance or emanation. It comes from the Latin where it means wind, breath of air, waft of air or haze. The term was originally used in ancient medicine to refer to the premonition of an epileptic seizure. According to occult conception, the aura is our energetic or subtle body. It is perceived as an egg-shaped sphere that surrounds our physical body at about arm's length. This sphere consists of three concentric layers, each of which we consider to be different in their nature and function, but which interpenetrate each other. We distinguish between several subtle bodies. The physical body, Guf, which corresponds to the gross realm of the material plane. The etheric body, Zelem, the subtle realm of the material plane. The etheric body is connected to the etheric aura. The astral body, Nefesh, the lower self or the emotional soul. The astral body is connected to the astral aura. The mental body, Ruach, the individual self and also the higher consciousness. The mental body is connected to the mental aura. The causal body, Neshama, the higher self or that part of our soul which is above or beyond our incarnations. The causal body is connected to the spiritual aura that lies beyond our planes of existence and that we can only perceive indirectly through the other layers or levels of the aura. The different layers of the aura. The etheric body or the etheric aura. In occult philosophy, the material body is considered a representation of the etheric body. The etheric body is therefore referred to as the real and true body, for instance by Walter Ernest Butler. This concept is already described in the Bible. And Elohim created man, Adam, in his image, Tselem. In the image of Elohim, he created him. Genesis 1:27. The etheric body is permeated by etheric life force, called chiyut in Hebrew. We perceive the emanation of the etheric body, that is, the etheric aura, close beside the physical body. The health condition of a person can be recognized by the etheric aura. That is why the etheric aura is also called the health aura. The astral aura the astral aura permeates the etheric aura and the physical body and envelopes both. The astral aura is the emanation of the astral body. The astral body is connected to the emotions and the subconscious. The astral aura shows our inclinations and our temperament. It is also shaped and colored by the current mood and emotions. The astral aura is also indirectly influenced by the thought forms of the mental aura. The mental aura. The mental aura surrounds and permeates the astral and etheric aura as well as the physical body. The mental aura is the emanation of the mental body. The mental body is connected with consciousness, mental concepts and thought forms. The mental aura also shows our spiritual development and spiritual affiliation. The mental aura is also indirectly shaped by higher spiritual influences. The spiritual aura. The spiritual aura is the emanation of the causal body. The spiritual aura is part of the higher planes of existence which can be perceived only indirectly by the incarnated human mind. The energy centers of the human body. 
Each body on every plane of existence has, just like the physical body, various organs or energy centers. These are based on the spiritual principles on the tree of life, the Sephirot. On each plane there is a tree of life, and its Sephirot correspond to the respective energy centers of that plane. The Sephirot shape each body and its aura according to their nature, function and effect. The perception of the aura. The etheric aura can be perceived with the physical eyes and the sense of touch. Its color can be perceived visually in a range from a faint gray fog to a bright silver light. As a tactile sensation, the etheric aura is sensed as a tingling or as heat. Rudolf Steiner explains the perception of the etheric aura as follows. The physical body of man can be seen by everyone. The etheric body becomes visible when the physical body is suggested away by a strong act of will. Then the space of the physical body remains filled with the etheric body. The astral aura is perceived with the inner senses. The astral aura shows itself in different colors and shapes as well as through inner sensations and impressions. We hereby perceive the emotions and sensitivities. The mental aura is also perceived by our inner senses. There are also colors and especially thought forms as well as symbols. In the mental aura our consciousness perceives the spiritual radiance of a person. The spiritual aura is perceived indirectly through the mental aura. The mental aura also shows our spiritual development and spiritual affiliation as both manifest themselves as an imprint or influence of the causal or spiritual aura. Errors on the perception of the aura. There are two errors which are related when perceiving the aura. One error is about the physical image we perceive around a person when we look at them for a long time and our eyes get tired in the process. This is not an image of the aura, but a very common physical side effect, that is a normal reaction of the eye. The other error involves seeing a complementary double of a person or object and is similar to the process described above. The technique of visualizing the complementary double is sometimes used as an awkward exercise to train the inner senses. An object is fixated for about a minute and then the eyes are closed and an inner image of the object is seen, which is perceived in its complementary color. Or, after it has been fixed with the eyes for an appropriate length of time, the object is projected onto a white wall which serves as a projection surface, and a complementary image can also be seen there. This phenomenon of the eye has nothing to do with seeing the aura either. What is the perception of the aura really like? The perception of the aura is a subjective process. We always perceive the aura through the filter of our own inner and outer senses. Therefore, there are two requirements for the mastery of clairvoyant abilities. First, an intensive meditation practice according to occult teachings, and second, having gone through a deep personality development. In this way, it is possible to develop one's senses in a high-quality manner and according to reliable criteria, in order to be able to perceive the aura properly and to interpret these perceptions in the right way. In addition, a profound knowledge of true spiritual principles, such as the concept of the planes of existence, allows us to understand the aura and distinguish its various components. To clarify what this might be like, we give an example. The following is Salomo Baal Shem's explanation of the description of the vision of the Merkava by the biblical prophet Ezekiel. The prophet Ezekiel described his experiences on the level of Yetzirah, that is, the level of the angels, in the form of direct inner images. But on the level of Beria, he did not simply speak of a throne, but of the likeness of a throne, knowing that what he saw was what a reflection of the true nature of Beria. On the level of Azilut, he even spoke of a double reflection, saying that he saw an appearance of the likeness of the glory of Yodhevafe. A profound knowledge of the concepts and vocabulary of the Kabbalah and of the Western mystery tradition is essential for a proper understanding of the aura 
and its interpretation. In addition to the already mentioned criteria of an occult training of the inner senses and one's own personality, it is also necessary to use an appropriate and coherent system of colors and symbols, so that we can appropriately assess, explain and interpret the perceived colors and symbols. If you would like to study with us and learn more about the principles you have heard of in this video, you are welcome to join our online community or attend our workshops. Click on the respective link in the video description. Oh, and if you enjoyed our video, do like and share it. And also subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any videos anymore. See you!